Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps projects. Now in today's video, we are going to do three important things. First one would be the JDK that we need for our application. We would be concentrating on JDK 8. And then the other thing we are going to do is we are going to save the Git credentials. So this Git credentials we need because we have to make a call from Jenkins to the repository, to the GitHub repository. And then from there, we have to check out the code. And the last thing would be the Maven credentials that I have to save because we need Maven to compile our code, which is in Java. All right. So this would be the agenda for today. Now, if you are new over here, I would like to request that kindly subscribe to the channel because it really supports me to create more content like this. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So as you can see on my screen, what we have to do is we have to just go to manage Jenkins. And then we have to go to global tool configuration. After that, we have to click on add JDK. So once you have to click off, click on it, just give it a name and make sure that you remember this name. So we'll say JDK, we'll use eight. All right. This is the name that you can give. Install automatically is fine. You just have to let it like this. Click over here, use Java SE development kit 8U221. That's all. And I agree. Now here's a catch over here. Let me expand it a bit. You have to enter the username and the password. Okay. So just right click over here, open link in new tab, and then it will be asked for your username and password. Make sure that you have already created it. But if you have not right click over here, open it, and then it will redirect you to the official website. All right. So you just have to create account over here. And if you already have, you can just try logging in. And if you do not have, you just have to create account over here, click over here, and then fill a few details that would be enough for you. Okay, so this email address, password, retype password, this and this, just fill it and create your account. Once the account is created, come back over here in the account and give the username. My username is this. I'll enter my password. That's all I have to do. Just do OK over here. I do not need to save it. Close. OK, so this part is completed. Click on Manage Jenkins again and then go to Global Tool Configuration. And you can see that it's been populated. So if you click over here, I think this has already been done over here. So this is perfectly all right. All right. Now what we have to do, we have to do the installation for Maven. OK, go to Manage Jenkins again. Go to global tool configuration and then scroll down to the end. You'll see Maven over here. Click on add Maven, give it a proper name, Maven three. Make sure that you give this name and remember it throughout because you have to use it like that. After that, you can let it like that. And uh, rest other thing is fine. This 3.86 version, it should be fine. You just have to save it. That's all you have to do. Just apply and save. So this is done. So that's the only thing with respect to the Maven. Now let's go to install the Git credentials. Now, in order to add Git credentials, go to manage Jenkins again, come down and then go to manage credentials over here. Click on it. And then you can see this Jenkins over here. The first thing click on it. And it can take up to some time, which is fine. Go inside global credentials unrestricted. And then here you can see the Nexus user credentials is already there. So you do not need to do that. Now for GitHub, add credentials, username with password is perfectly all right. Username that you have to give, which is of your, of your uh, GitHub repository. So mine is logic ops lab. Okay. How do I see it? Let's go there and take a look. So all you have to do is you just have to open the repository. So this is my repository. Okay, the name is logic ops lab over here, go over here on the right side, go to settings. This is your profile picture. You can just add over, click over here, add to click on settings, come down, come down and then click on developer settings, go over there, click on personal access tokens and generate a new token. It will ask for your password. I have already saved it. That's all you have to do. Give it a no note Jenkins. token. You can give any name. This is my name. Expiration, whatever you want to give, I'll give for like, what, uh, 60 days, you can give one year or anything else. 
Now these are the permissions that you want it to give. So for now I'll give almost everything for kind of admin. But make sure that you carefully read because admin repo hook, full control of the repository hook, admin org hook, gist, notification. Make sure that this does not get compromised because people can use it against and delete the stuff that you have created on the repository. All right. So generate a new token. That's all you have to do. Now I'll blur this out and I'll just copy it and save it over somewhere so that I can use it later. Okay. So I have saved it. Now this is a one time thing. You won't be able to see it again. All right. If I click on GitHub apps now and go to personal access token, this has disappeared. There is nothing, only the name. So make sure that you copy it at the first go. Otherwise, it won't be visible for you. All right. That's all you have to do over here. Now let's go back to our Jenkins. Now, what is the password? Password is the token that you had just produced. All right. So just uh, put it over here and you can give the ID. ID can be anything. Uh, I'll just give, uh, I'll just remove this Jenkins get creds. You can give anything. I mean, ID is just fine. Copy this again. So there is unacceptable characters. I don't know what is unacceptable over here. So just leave it blank. That's that's all. Jenkins get creds is that's all. Click on OK button and you can see that this is present over here. All right. So this is the usual name that comes when you do not give any kind of ID over here. But if you want to change it, you just go to update and that give anything. Okay. So let's say if you want to give I don't think you can edit it. Oh, you cannot edit it. That's all. That's, that's perfectly all right. If you want to delete it, just you can click over here and then it will get deleted. All right. So this is just the basic process. I'll add it again. You can just skip this part. Okay. Logic of slab. My password is this. I'll just get get grids over here and then the description get credentials. That's all. That's all. Okay. And you can see now the ID is get creds and not the code. Okay. So I hope uh, this is uh, you have completed this part. So this is all as of now that you want to do. We'll later on build the process and from the we'll start from the next video. And if you have anything that you haven't understood, feel free to comment below and we will address that. And I'll see you in the next one.